So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I'm up at my booth and I'm going to show you guys the display. It's getting a little bit fuller. It's dried out. It looks a lot better. But what I did is um, I actually brought some nails up. I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Put my signs on the side of it. Um, just use it as a fixture to hang stuff off you can uh if you get old furniture like this it works out really good you can hang signs on it and stuff like that that's kind of creepy i'm sure you guys are gonna be like what in the world is that well it's what it is i buy some weird interesting stuff speaking of which um i got these old denture uh molds here they're kind of they're kind of interesting um but yeah that's uh how this is turning out and um, I think it looks pretty good. I think this booth is starting to shape up a lot better once I can clear out some of the garbage. I will be able to um, start filling it back full with, with really good stuff. I brought this clock in. Um, I have a tag on it, I thought. I'm gonna have to price it before I leave. And um, then I have this clock here this is a nice howard miller it's a two chime westminster it doesn't have a key though so it's going to be a hard sell i had a key this is no joke i had a key it was in my house in my hand i dropped the key and now it's in limbo somewhere so there you go that's pretty much the booth for the day let's see what else we can find okay so we left the booth and while i was there i made a couple deals that's the best part about <laughs> being at the booth sometimes is that you're able to see people come to your booth and you can make some deals i sold a guy a whole bunch of granite ware for like 20 bucks it worked out great for me worked out great for him it wasn't selling i'd like to get rid of it um so that is the benefit of having your own brick and mortar is that if you're there you can work out deals with people and that works out great the best part about coming up here is i was able to get some of these these kit kat darks oh those look delicious i'm going to try some of them right now i bet you my wife will help me try some too because we're foodies so we're going to go up to goodwill maybe a couple more places um it's saturday so why not this is what you need bearded pickers looking to get a sprinter van and i think that he needs a little picker van like this this thing is absolutely awesome look how little it is it'd be perfect i wonder what the sticker price is on it i can't see it fell it fell down um let's see here base price is twenty five thousand six hundred and forty five bucks for that that's insane i'll wait for him to come down a price i'll wait i'll look for a used one here's one it's got the painted bumper i bet you that one's a little bit more Let's see what the uh, base price is on it. Where does it say? It looks like it might be folded over. That's a nice little, nice little vans. Super cool. I like that. That would be awesome. Awesome, awesome. But I ain't paying $26,000 for it. One of these days I'm going to get rich and I'm going to own me a car like this. I love these. It's a 2017 Corvette Sport, Grand Sport. That is awesome. These cars are fantastic. I believe it's a Grand Sport. Love them headlights. Yep, Grand Sport right there. Love them. Gorgeous car. $51,000. Can't afford that. I could, but I wouldn't want to. So we have came to a huge indoor flea market antique store if you can see all the way down there it kind of narrows to a point all the way down there it, you can almost see the curvature of the earth in this place but anyways we're walking around and my wife here she's a wonderful wife i love her a bunch and um you know she shipped probably twenty thousand items yeah i see it too she shipped 20 uh probably about shipped about twenty thousand items on ebay and uh, there was an item that was sitting right here and she walked right past it and that item was this this polaroid the button she walked right past it sat right there she's like dum da dum da dum da dum i love you it's okay hey you know i keep you i keep you around and you missed something else over there i keep you around because you're beautiful and you treat me pretty good so you know i forgive i forgive 
What's this here? How much is on it? Whoa! There ain't even a, ain't even a price on it. So. Never mind. They turned that into. Uh, Guess and that doesn't sell. They turned that into a bird feeder. So never mind. What is it? Oh, the lantern. The lantern yeah. yeah. They turned that into a bird feeder. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, that's just a cheap lantern. If you look, it's just a cheap lantern that you can buy from. Uh, um, Walmart and they're like 10 bucks or something. They're not super expensive, but that's cool. Good eye. You're looking. I appreciate it I appreciate it. Oh, look at all these plates. I'm excited about plates So normally if I find if I find a booth where I find something that's pretty inexpensive in it Then it gets me excited. I'm like, oh, what else could be in that booth? What else could be in that booth? What could it be big? Watch this. We're gonna take the button and we're gonna put it right there. It's five bucks. I'll take it. Here's something that I love to purchase. I love these Department 56 houses. Um, they're really high. If you see the original price was 130 bucks, and they've got that marked down to 50. Um, some of these can be worth a ton of money, and they're just absolutely awesome. Um, so if you're ever out and you see that Department 56, sometimes they'll uh, do collaborations. Uh, one of the ones that um, I made a ton of money on was Kurt Adler cl collaboration. He made a bunch of nutcrackers with them. So Department 56. Um, and it sells pretty decent all year. Especially if you find the Halloween stuff, forget about it. This is a really neat idea. They've made a vinyl stencil. They put it on this bucket and it says what happens at camp stays at camp. But they put 25 bucks on this. This bucket, you can buy them at the Home Depot or whatever. That bucket probably costs about five bucks. That's probably 50 cents worth of vinyl. I would sell them for 12.50 and sell three times or four times as many of them. That's just me though. But I love these signs that they make. Welcome. Pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I just being difficult? I don't know. I love this angel. I love this shelf here. It's probably with a shield. Michael, this is cool too. $420, 20 bucks for that. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. That whole shelf is 250 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I would do with something that big. Interesting. Highlights of American Railroad history. That's cool. 15 bucks for that whole lot of books there. Are they all railroad books? Looks like they're all railroad books. Huh. Interesting. Look at these beautiful Tiffany style lamps. That is absolutely gorgeous. This is rose bordered stained glass floor lamp oh that's gorgeous i don't know if you guys like this stuff or not but it is definitely that looks like a tiffany lamp is that let's see here tiffany yep that's a tiffany this is an actual tiffany lamp how much is that that is 300 bucks still a decent price on that lamp Gorgeous. I love these elephants. This one here is so cool. What do you guys think about that? I love that. 35 bucks. Wow. It's not too bad for a nice decor piece. Another beautiful Tiffany style lamp. What is that priced? 289. Yep. That is gorgeous. That is awesome. They got tons of stained glass lamps in here. Look at all of them. I love elephants. Look at these cool elephant freaking uh, book uh, holder upper thingies bookends that's the word I'm looking for how you like that how you like that technical term I came up with look at this beautiful light this would fit on top of a um, of a light pole and it's missing the globes in the top globe it looks like it could have been a gas burner but that's all that's left of it that's a neat piece what are they the gun on it. Ah, the tag's missing. Of course, somebody might have bought it. Oh, here we go. This is the globe piece that would have fit on top of it. If that goes on that, then it wouldn't have been a gas burner. It would have been electric because that's plastic. And we know that heat and plastic does not meld well together. Look at that old grinding wheel. So much cool stuff. Look at this beautiful lamp. That is absolutely awesome. I wonder if they sell a lot of them. That's the thing. 
I love this uh, floor mirror here. Look at that good looking guy there. That's super cool. Love it. I don't know where my wife, oh there she is. Thought I lost her. Thought I lost you forever. Look at all these vintage tools. You were bits and bridles and clippers and scissors and needle traps. I love this old stuff. It's so cool. Look at, I don't know what that is. Anybody know what this is? Is it a gas tank? Looks like a gas tank, maybe. Or some kind of, I don't know. No, it's a sugar milker. I don't know what that does, but I'll look that up when I get home because that's kind of cool. This is an absolutely beautiful booth. I like the way it's set up. It doesn't have a lot in it, but just the displays are super nice. It draws me into it. It makes me want to go look around and see if there's anything good in here. So I'm going to. Let's walk in and see if we can find anything cool. I don't see. These are old mixing bowls. They fit down. If you see there, they fit down in the uh, slot and then you can mix inside of them and they won't. The mixer won't I guess throw them out. I've seen these before. They come in different colors. The green ones are the cool ones because they will actually glow under a black light. They're super cool. Aren't they, Megan? Aren't they? I love these old books. I like the way this booth is set up. I don't know where you find old books like that anymore, but I remember back in the day at auctions, people would buy them and they just throw them in the trash and I'd be like, you're breaking my heart. Look at this. This is super cool. It's an old trunk. It won't open up, but that's cool. Neat old lamp. That is awesome. How you guys like that? That's cool. What are you looking? What's that look about? Is he being a butt? You can't have every Mickey that you see. You have a million Mickeys. I don't know why you want a million and one. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I love this booth layout. It's got the nice rustic wood. I love the candle. Look at this floor length brass candle stick. That's 69 bucks. That is absolutely a beautiful piece. Really nice. Really nice. Even this stuff will sell really well. A lot of people don't realize that these old posts, like null, null posts and just table legs, that's a table leg. People make all kinds of interesting projects out of it. Look at that. That looks like a repop, but it's still cool. That's 37 bucks. Beautiful piece. Even if it is not re or repop, not real. I don't know. Another example of a beautiful booth. You can just the doors and the windows and the vintage uh, like wainscoting panels. Those are off an old pantry or off an old wardrobe. This looks really good, really inviting. I like that. This is a neat piece here. It's got one, two, three, four levels to it. It's out of an old, uh, like an old bedroom. You would, like parlor piece that you would put all kinds of interesting and odd stuff on. I love it, love it, love it. What do you guys think? <clears throat> it's not that old. It's probably, I don't know does have the wood there. it's got Phillips screws in it so that knows that's how you know that it's not like really old now the look at this this is gorgeous these pieces here this is a mid-century modern carving set probably with a teak wood handle um, I've seen these before this is a uh, I've sold stuff similar to this it's made by a company called uh, Heat wood designs. It's stainless. 
Town and Country. I'm going to look that up because they got 15 on it. But I think that that's probably um, with that teak wood or rosewood or it could be rosewood. That is an interesting piece. I'm going to look it up real quick. Be right back. If you look here, they don't really sell for a ton. But if you look at the silverware sets, here's a Washington Forge Town and Country rosewood handle. Hmm. That's not good. Sold for $52 for a set of silverware. Here's a set of silverware with the rosewood handles. It sold for $147.55. Another small set here for $22.50. Here's a set for $100. So anytime you guys see like the rosewood or the teak wood handles, you definitely want to stop and examine that a little bit further because a lot of people don't know the true value of this stuff. And you can pick it up at Goodwill for like 25 cents a piece. So always be on the lookout. Hopefully that's helpful. These are cool, but I don't know. Somebody spelt out thought, T-H-O-T. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you might want to go look that up, but that's kind of funny. People are, people are characters. They do all kinds of weird stuff. Anyways, that's funny. Let's see what else they got here. Here's neat old tabletop air hockey table. That's cool, cool, cool. Some models, 15 bucks, bunch of comics. Look at all these jerseys. They're always too high here, but you never know. Williams, oh, let me fix that. Empty box. Look at this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's cool. The Rock, that's cool right there. Can you smell the rock is cooking? Cool, cool. Is look at the model down here. Is that? It's either Chewbacca or Bigfoot. Oh, it's Chewy. Oh. Oh. Bunch of Beckett's garbage. What's this? Autographed son-in-law. That's cool. Oh, what's this? Autographed Wes Craven. Hmm, that's cool. 50 bucks though. Here's an autographed Tito Ortiz with a glove that's autographed. That's cool. And here's JJ Dynamite. That's cool. The Little River Band. Hmm. Neat. Neat stuff. Give that a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. My wife didn't walk off too far from me. I thought she was gone. Thought I lost her. Ooh, look at this John Deere tailgate painted. See, that's cool. Somebody put some effort into that. 55 bucks. I like this. Hobby Lobby stuff. Oh, I like that Volkswagen. That's super cool. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, they make. Oh, look at the big roosters. Oh, this is repop, but it's still cool. Oh, that egg baskets might not be, but I bet you they're high. I used to be able to pick these up cheap, cheap, cheap. 20 bucks. Not too bad, but it's retail. It ain't too bad. Organs. Never buy the organs unless it's a kidney or a liver or something that you need, but any other organs, stay away from them. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. Ghost Rider. That's cool. Star Trek. Bobblehead. Look at that. That's too cool. That's too cool. All oh, this is a repop. They're buying this from China or something. Nobody has this many, many egg baskets without uh, buying them repop in a booth with the rest of the stuff that's repop. Tong. Oh, what's this over here? More cameras. More cameras. Nothing super great. I threw a bunch of this stuff away. I probably should have kept it. But it was pretty it was pretty gnarly. Pretty smashed. Pretty smashed. I don't know. That's a really cute display idea for your booth. All you have to do is find you an old rustic ladder. You can paint it, you can leave it, get you some wood like they did makes a really good shelf idea. So keep that in mind if you're looking to create some furniture for your booth for cheap. Those ladders are pretty inexpensive. You can find them all over the place. Look at that. Look at that old, ugly rocker. 
Say what? No, no, that one's just old and ugly all by itself. Look, it's Pocahontas's uh, prom dress right over there. It's pretty nice. Hey, how are ya? Oh, dun, da 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 dun, da 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 dun, da 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 dun. I love booths like this. This is this is a well designed, well laid out booth. We've got all of these helmets, all of the cool helmets, and they have all of these awesome Star Wars figures. I am Batman, Darth Vader. Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO, looky here, more helmets, more helmets, look at that, Steve Urkel, Steve Urkel, look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles over here, oh, look at that, and what else, they're really smart, is they put all their lightsabers up high enough to where only people that are tall can reach them, maybe I should do that, look at that, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, my son likes Mickey Mouse, Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite mouse in the whole world? If you had to pick one mouse that you could eat lunch with, who would it be? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E -E. <coughs> what is this? A royal typewriter? I ain't like royal typewriters. 25 bucks. It's not old, so I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to open the case. I love those doors. I like to have those doors because I want to create a den in my dining room and put our office in there for our business, and that would be sweet. <coughs> Harley-Davidson patches. Hall Goners Group. <gasps> Looky here. What are these? Alas, poor Yurik. I knew him well. Not anymore. He's dead. Yurik is dead. So is Horatio. Because they existed way back in Shakespearean times. Look at that pretty hair, people. Ain't that pretty? Don't you wish your wife was hot like mine? That's very stupid. I give her compliments. Tell her she's beautiful. And it's, you're stupid. Somebody was talking on the hangout last night and they're like talking about ugly guys with hot wives and I was brought up. Yeah. I made mean, I didn't know whether they feel good or Sagamore. The Lagapanaki yearbook. The Lagapanaki. I don't think I'm saying that right. Let's he needs the Roadster Racer Mickey Mouse, Mom. One day our booth is going to be full of Mickey's when we get tired of them. Yep. Look at that. Look at the windows. Uh, when you're buying windows to resell, the ones with the multiple panes are way better than like the two pane windows. So keep that in mind too. If you're ever out and about and you're at a yard selling somebody selling old windows, definitely. Uh, get the uh, multiple pain ones the beer stuff sells good cigarette stuff not so much people don't really aren't proud of smoking anymore you know it's kind of weird oh this is pretty yeah that's awesome i like the old reproduction uh chicken feeder over there that's cool that's pretty too i like that Bunch of paintings. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Uh. It's awfully quiet in here now. I think everybody's taking the. Uh, ooh, look at that beautiful still life there. Look at that. That is gorgeous use of color and light. The light and the darkness. The light focal point right there at the vase. Oh, that's gorgeous. 90 bucks. Tag gum. That's cheap. That's a expensive piece 90 I mean it's not like like if I had a house and I wanted a pretty piece of artwork to hang on hang on the wall that's cheaper than Hobby Lobby oh, yeah. uh oh we gotta get out we finished just in time So folks, that's the antique mall for the day. We are going to go to Goodwill, but first I'm going to take my wife and get her something to eat because 
happy wife, happy life. Uh, in my case, it's fed wife, happy wife, happy life. So, what's cute? Oh, the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's very expensive. Those are very expensive with all the accessories and stuff. Yeah, yeah, those are very expensive. I had a chance to buy one, but they wanted too much for it, so I, I didn't buy it. But if you can find one of those in the wild, the McDonald's playset thing, for like a couple bucks, score it, because they sell for $100, $200 sometimes. Here we go. This is how big this antique mall is. It starts here, that's the furniture, and it goes all the way down here, and this is the entrance. And then this is the, there used to be a winery in here, but um, it didn't work out too well. So that's how big that is. That's absolutely amazing. Um, the guy that owned it, he was very wealthy. He passed away. He owned all of this over here. This was a Dodge dealership. And he sold money, or he sold land to, uh, I think it was Disney and that's how he made all of his money so yeah but he passed away so it's pretty cool look at that corvette look at that corvette i want that corvette i no, love corvettes want the other corvette. i do want the other corvette but i would come closer to being able to uh actually purchase the uh that that silver or that that yellow corvette look at that silver look at that thing 2017 that thing's gorgeous so I'm here at my Goodwill and I found a bunch of records I'm going to look through real quick, but I found this laying on the cart. I wonder how much this would be worth on eBay. Uh, barb gun for uh, <laughs> from, from Goodwill. I think they forgot to take it off the cart. Uh, so I'm going to go give it to them. Pretty interesting. But we're going to look through some of these records real quick. That's uh, Chris Christopherson. Jesus was a Capricorn. Uh, oh no. Probably. Nope. Probably gonna keep that one. Be right back. Okay, um, that's Jim Reeves. Probably not gonna keep that. Oh, here's Elvis. Oh, I'm gonna definitely. There's two records in there. I'll look at that in a minute. See what's with it. Stonewall Jackson, The Greatest Hits. Eh, probably not gonna get that one. I'm not gonna get Del Reeve. Charlie Pride, that's kinda cool. He's in really good shape, too. Like, super good shape. Oh, that's cool. Gunfighter Ballads. I'm definitely going to get that for 50 cents. Uh, not going to get it. Not going to get it. Not going to get it. Ooh, Donny Osmond when he was young. Hmm. I'm not going to get it. It's pretty bad shape. Uh, Hank Lachlan. A lot of country. A lot of old country, I guess. It'd be cool if they were all, like, rock. Tom and Jerry. Square Dancing. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it'll sell. I'll put it aside and look. Another Jim Reeves, Ray Price, Ozark, Opry on stage. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I kind of like, I kinda like that. I kind of like that. I'll look them up. Make sure they're... Ooh, Patsy Klein. Oh, that's super cool. Patsy Klein. That is Carl Smith. Nope. Jim Reeves, nope, nope. I might be passing something up. Another Charlie Pride, but I don't like it as much. Uh, nope, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. These are really cool. Floyd Kramer, nope, nope. Berlin Husky, been to his gravesite, but no. So, that's it. So I found this steel hat, that's kind of cool. I'm looking at the hats over here. Um, Team Steel. It's used a little bit, but um, super nice. It's a Steel Outfitters apparel, so I always do well with those. This is kind of interesting. It's a hat. It says MAGA on it, M-A-G-A, and it's from Cap America. But I don't think that uh, I don't think that that's yeah. I don't think that's a, a Donald Trump hat. So interesting. How about that? So we snagged a few things. That's one of the items that we snagged. That is absolutely awesome. That's like three bucks. I got another one in here uh, just like it. Um, I got this Nike US soccer shirt. That'd be $3.50. Still got the steel hat in here that I showed you guys. And um, 
I got a lot of these sign and or we sign ABC sing along. That ought to be pretty interesting. I don't know how you sing and sign. I don't know. I don't. Is there music or is it just no sound and people making hand gestures? We'll find out. So we decided to come to a brand new Taco Bell. You will get in Tacos Pig, but I don't have to show you guys. This is probably the most organized condiment section that I've ever seen. Look at that. Like, that's amazing. Somebody did a fantastic job. They need a raise. Crazy. You and who? You want to be by mama? How come you want to be by mama? You can't be by daddy, huh? Well, that ain't right. I like everything about it.